Alright, um, let's try the, the Cobra form with no sticks. <laughs> Alright, so just hold on, pretend like you're holding on to some sticks. Strike points. Okay. <laughs> you don't know what's going on because you've never seen this one. No. <laughs> Let me show you real quick what it what it is doing actually. You <laughs> The part that you guys never seen, right? Yes. So, so you're after after this part, right? You guys know all the way up to that? No. No? No. You stopped at the triple sticks. The triple this part? One, two, three. Yeah, that's where you stop. Okay. Yeah. So this is brand new for everybody. This is a, a jab. It's like imagine you, you, you fight somebody, boom, you hit him. Just jab him. <laughs> boom. <laughs> Shit's gonna hurt. <laughs> so yeah. I just go boom like that. Bam. Okay. okay. Question, you're good, right? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> not good, not good. Do it again, do it again. Do it too. From where, from where? From the start of the new part. From this part? Yeah, because from this part. So from there, right? Did, yeah, after we did that, then it's a spin kick or is it a ground? No, it's round? this. Yeah, we get that. Yes. And then this is the whole new part. There might have to be some revisions, but this is what I have so far for this. And then, boom, and then a double step. The reason why I'm not making contact in the first one is because I need room to step forward. Because if I don't take that room, then I'm basically crowding myself. You see that? So, I need room. So that's why I'm not making contact with the first one. See that? 
So when you came in place the first time, were you doing it with our elbows or are we doing No, this is like the butt end of the sticks, you're hitting them in the eyes. Oh. And they hit him in the collarbone. <laughs> and then you go boom. Because you come over here, step in, and you hit him in the nose, I the eyes, day. collarbone. Dead step in and kick him away. He's not dead yet, you see? He's <laughs> <laughs> still alive. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. Okay. Let's do the left side. Okay. okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to revise the end part, but that's what I added. So, there's no excuse. Even at home, you don't need sticks. You can still practice. Right? <laughs> you have left hand. So. Pretty much repeating the same move like almost four times. Isn't there two steps that you do? No, this one's a single step first. Now it's a double step. So boom, bam, bam, and boom, 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 boom. Just to illustrate, like, say we're stick fighting, and um, say Trinity had sticks, or just get one here. <laughs> so, the difference with uh, stick fighting is that you could actually, well, I need to demonstrate with two sticks. Just grab a couple more sticks. Yeah, so, say we're stick fighting, right? And then, most of the moves are just basically standing still. But in a stick fight, you need to be blocked. In a stick fight, you're not going to stand still typically. There isn't a lot of movement. So you don't have to just move like this. In a stick fight, you can step. You see? And you advance on them with stepping. And it's, 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 you gain a lot of space. And then you could basically hurt them pretty bad. Because if she didn't step, like say you didn't step back, and then they came in, boom. You see that? Like advancing like this in stick fighting is okay, but without sticks, it's not okay. Like you don't want to advance like this on people because you just leave everything open, right? But with stick fighting, especially if you have two sticks, you this is a very effective way to advance. So say we come here and then I'll sound like boom, and then you you need to step back to protect yourself. So boom, boom. you see that? Whereas before, we're just kind of standing like this. Let's say you shuffle step and I take a, a real step. No, you shuffle step back. Like you should, then the distance could, would, would, might, might, might be dis, misgaged and you could get hit. Okay. So like basically, I mean it looks kind of crazy, but if you're, spar if you're stick fighting, you're moving like this, like a windmill, it'd be really hard to stop that. Because they're advancing with a weapon every time that they take a step forward. But if you only had one stick, then not so much, because if I strike here and I step here, then I'm in trouble, because there's nothing to hit you with. But if you have two of them, advancing like this is really a good tactic. So that's why at the end we're learning how to step that way. It's more so not so much the strike that's important, it's the step that's important. Because we never did that in the form. We did this one, turning away from them, but we didn't do the basic one where you just basically just step to them. So you can literally like kind of, kind of um, like you kind of distract them here and say they try to block that, and then all of a sudden you just tap, step, and bam, they get ended right there if you're not prepared for that. 
So you have to be really aware of how they're moving. Because some people, they like to move like this. And the stick fighting is the best for them because they can go really quickly. But in fighting, you don't, without weapons, you don't want it to advance like that. Then you'll get hurt. Because, you know what I'm saying? So stick fighting is different. You have a lot more flexibility. So you can either advance like shuffle step forward, or you do the one that we did before. You do the spin, or you can do the step. You see that? Those are the ways that you typically would advance. Either you shuffle step forward, you take a step, or you spin. Okay? So that same thing goes with uh, sword fighting as well. You could advance with steps with sword fighting. We have two arms. Boom. Boom. You see that? Boom. Okay? So you learn how to step in advancement. But you don't do that without weapons, though. Because it's different without weapons. So remember that. That's called the cobra form. Okay? Okay. All right.